So, as some of you might know, I was a former tank commander, but almost everyone in the military starts off the same way, as a green recruit going through something called basic military training. And Finnish Army Simulator is a game that tries to recreate that exact experience. I didn't expect much, but this turned out to be more accurate to the real thing than I imagined. And I share some stories along the way. Let's get to it. Alright, here we go. So, I mean, this actually already feels familiar because, yeah, First day you go to an army base, it, it, it's not near anywhere, so it's a long way to travel. Uh, okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, there's people still coming out of the bus. The bus left. Uh, alright. So, we have to get moving. No? Wait, I have to talk to the military police? Wait, why did everyone else get to run in? We are at Squirrel Skin Hill Regiment. I mean, I'll be honest, there have been weirder names. None that I can think of right now, but yeah. <laughs> Draft letter and ID. God, this actually does look kind of a lot like some of the bases I've been on. Oh, we have a stamina bar? Oh, I actually can't sprint for that long. Okay. Well, we're fast walking then, I guess. So, yeah, the HQ building... Like, okay, so I've never been to an army base in Finland, but I have been to some in Germany, and they do kind of look like this, too. Some, like, Cold War era buildings and that sort of stuff. Yeah. I don't remember seeing an HQ building this fancy, though. Yeah, all of them have these, like, promo pictures and stuff, showing, like, things people have done. Oh, yeah, sometimes there's, like, awards on the walls and plaques of things of, like, you know, best unit competitions and... That sort of stuff. Out uh, notice board. What is this? Jaeger platoon? Oh, these are showing like who's in what platoon. Okay. Let's go! Where's... Where are we supposed to... Oh, am I late? Can I just sit anywhere? I'm gonna... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just sit here. So this is one of those like introductory briefings that they give you to like kind of hype you up for the start of it and also like tell you what you're gonna be doing. When I went for this the first thing I saw was a promo video for the army and it kind of showed like everything the army was doing at the time. Weirdly enough tanks weren't included because the leopards hadn't arrived yet at the time so they didn't really show any armored stuff it was all infantry. But I remember that they, they had that video and then they were like yeah some of you might do this some of you might not. <laughs> I want to point out, by the way, even though I'm cutting a lot of this in the actual video, this speech has legitimately been going on now for about six or so minutes. Yeah, I think it's finally ending. Yeah, there we go. Wait, where am I going? Uh, I don't know what my character's name is. <laughs> so, I think the one that I'm pointing at, so I need to find my platoon. Oh, I'm in fourth platoon. Okay, I just follow these guys then. Somehow they all know where they're going. There's usually like at least a like sergeant rank around to tell you where you're going. Oh, in some cases at least somebody of corporal rank to tell you where you're going. If anything, this actually does capture the feeling of being a recruit really, really well because I feel lost and confused. Why is that guy so fast? Oh yeah, I can run faster than everyone else here already. That's definitely not true about my basic anyway. <laughs> I was not faster than anyone else at the start. Oh, you get level ups for doing things? I'm just running and that... Yeah, okay, that, that makes sense. I'm getting fitter just by doing this. I'm gonna get there first. Oh no, this guy's actually slightly faster than me. No. Alright, recruit company. In we go. Why am I wanting to be here first? Press up, up, up. Oh! <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting to actually have to stand at attention. Mainly because, like, I guess actually in basic nobody ever thinks they have to. Until you get yelled at. Oh, my my, my name is Conscript No No No. Is that how you say that? In any, any Finnish people want to pipe up in the comments and tell me how I'm supposed to pronounce that? Like, my brief understanding of Swedish means that that should be Nu Nu Nu, I think. <laughs> My first name is Butts. 
It's Finnish, so it's not pronounced. It reads that way, but it's not actually pronounced butts. Okay, so that's Corporal Canisto. Okay, where am I going? Go to my room. Oh, I'm being told to go to my room already. It's like being a kid all over again. Uh, is it this one? Well, that's definitely not a room. Um, well, it's a room, just not that kind of room. Oh, maybe I go upstairs. You look very surprised to be here. These are all, like, knock on the door? No, that's, a. Uh... That's a lecture room. Okay. I clearly am not in the right place. Where am I supposed to go again? Can you tell me? Oh. <laughs> There's all sorts of different greetings because nobody ever knows how to greet someone. Okay, actual... Actual story time. The platoon commander that was assigned to my platoon, uh, you're, the proper way to address somebody is by their rank and their last name. And I didn't know what his last name was, so to cover up for that, I just called him Lieutenant Sir. Yeah, I, I didn't get the most favorable response after saying that initially. <laughs> So we just had like a story time interaction. So I'm guessing this is my room. <laughs> uh oh. Um. <laughs> okay, I kind of want to just click this one just to see what happens. <laughs> I know this is the correct answer, but I just want to. I... <laughs> Wait, I I got away with that. I I I actually got away with. Addressing him as ma'am. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. I need to stay close. So I think what we're doing now is actually just gathering our stuff. It says gather equipment, so I'm guessing this is, well, what we would have referred to as in processing, which I know sounds like exactly what you do in a prison, but I mean, it's not that different. <laughs> but this would be the phase where you go and collect things like your uniforms. Wait, I can actually run faster than the corporal. Uh oh. Okay, I probably shouldn't. So I actually don't know how long the, the service time for Finland would be, like how many months you actually have to serve in total. I know basic for us was three months. So you get to know everybody in your section, if not your entire platoon, pretty well. What am I supposed to do? Just pick up the equipment sack? Do I pick up anything else? There's like a belt, there's the camo pants and jacket. Sweatpants, jacket. Okay. Polo shirts. So, just walking through all the stuff, yeah, I mean, a mess kit, that's the, the stuff that you use for eating out in the field. Uh, camo, that doesn't really need explaining, belts doesn't either. This looks like kind of like bougie um, gym wear, uh, is actually what you would call your PT kit, like physical training kit. Uh, polo shirt, that's part of like what you wear underneath your uniform and also uh, for like day to day around the base when you don't need to be in full uniform you wear that uh yeah canteen shovel gloves a beret um yeah the singapore army did actually use berets uh, a lot of armies do not every one of them does though because i know like the i think it's the americans that have like caps and stuff uh helmets yep sun hat we didn't get one of those. In fact, you don't actually get a beret as a recruit. You get a, what we call the jockey cap. I don't know why it was called that, but it's like a flat cap. Ear protectors, we definitely didn't get any of those. We got like these little earplugs that kept falling out. Um, boots, gas mask, that, we didn't get issued one of these until we went for like chemical defense training. Um, field pack, yeah, all of that. Rain jacket, I had one. I don't remember what happened to it though. But yeah, we had some of that. Rubber boots. Why would you have rubber boots? Oh, there we go. There's the cap. Yeah, it's a, we had one exactly like that. Not without a crest. And slippers. Yep. Um, I had to bring my own. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff here. Like, like all of this. There's so much. Genuinely. So actually, no. This is the t-shirt that I was talking about. Not the polo shirt over there. This is the one that you'd wear together with these shorts. Um... We don't get issued underwear. 
That is the one thing we didn't get issued, you had to bring your own, and that was the source of, uh, many jokes among people, because there would always be somebody who would bring red underwear, and let's, let's just say the first time you're behind somebody doing push-ups with one of those shorts on, you're gonna know what color these pants are. Alright, I think we're just gonna grab this. And let's fill it up. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm getting told, told off for taking so long. I don't know, you don't have influencers in the army. Well, not active ones. <laughs> like, don't mind me, I'm just vlogging my entire time while I'm here, because that's something you can totally do, right? <laughs> so usually what we'd have here is what you call a cadence run, where everybody had to run in time with each other and in a formation. There's not really much of a formation going on here other than it's a clump. It's a tactical clump. At this point, too, there would actually be someone starting a song. They'd either ask anyone who had been in like the cadet corps, like an ROTC type thing, uh, to lead a song. You'd have like a sergeant or corporal doing that. Yeah, you get to learn a lot on the first day. It, it's overwhelming. I'll, I'll give you that. It is overwhelming. Oh, someone's already there. How'd you get here so fast? I think I'm being flirted at. Wait, you have a- what? I read that right. There is a stat. There's XP for that. Okay then. Okay, what? Oh, I have to- Oh no. We have to uh, sort everything. <laughs> okay, so we gotta put things in the correct places. Yes, not even kidding. This is exactly correct. Oh. Uh, I just don't know what everything looks like. Hang on. I need, um, okay, where does the utility belt go? Okay, rain pants can go here. Yeah. There's no way that that was enough time. Oh, I'm so screwed. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he said three minutes. It was definitely not three minutes, but that is actually more realistic somehow. Okay, let's organize. Organize. Oh, wait, rain jacket, rain jacket. Where's the rain jacket? That's the camo jacket. Where is my rain jacket? Uh, you know what? Um, sleeping bag. I can put the sleeping bag. Where? Where's the sleeping bag? I don't know where the sleeping bag is. I I don't know where anything is. Uh, earmuffs. Okay, we put the earmuffs there. Um, uh, I still don't know where my rain jacket is. Uh, oh, sleeping bag. Okay, sleeping bag. Yep. Uh, polo shirt. Where's my polo shirt? Like, I'm legitimately panicking right now, because I don't know where I'm supposed to put everything. <laughs> Why do I have to feel like a recruit again? Uh-oh. Okay. Alright. I I gotta... Okay, that's the camo jacket. Here should be the cap. Alright, so we got the cap. Uh, camping mat, camping mat, camping mat. Where's the camping mat? Uh, rain jacket. Okay, rain jacket goes up there. Um, gas mask goes down there. Camo pants. Uh, t-shirt. Wait. T-shirt. Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. I can hear him. Uh, no. There we go. That's at least right. Uh, no. I need more time. Oh, I'm losing sanity. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so I don't know how things work in Finland, but... Yeah, this would not happen, mainly because an officer candidate, or officer cadet in our cases, is actually ranked even lower than a recruit. <laughs> That's just how that kind of works. Uh, so while you do get certain special freedoms, you are still the bottom of the bunch. And yes, a corporal will outrank you because you're a cadet. Okay, we gotta, we gotta put on the bed sheets. Okay, I need a bed sheet and pillowcase. Yeah, that one. Okay. Put on the bed sheets and make bed. Oh, make the bed. Actually make... Wait, what? Hello? How do I make the bed? How do I... <laughs> I don't understand! How do I make a bed? Oh, you just drag and pull. Oh, okay. No, wait. That's too much. Hang on. I gotta... Am I doing it wrong? Okay, I gotta increase the progress bar. Oh, no, wait. Hang on. I'm doing it wrong again. I think I gotta pull in the right direction. I I feel like yeah okay. I I, I genuinely have to pull it in the right direction. <laughs> oh no 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 no! 
Oh, I took too long to do it? I took too long to do it. Okay. So, that is a different way of making the bed, that's for sure. Because the way we had to do it was we had to fold the blanket and put it at the foot of the bed, and then the pillow had to be, like, squared off in every corner, and the bed sheet had to be tucked in with no wrinkles on the side. Um, but pro tip, by the way, if you have to do it that way with a fitted sheet, literally what you do is you get one of those little garter straps to, to cinch them off at the end. You get one of those, and you just draw it across the bottom. That's, that's what I did. And it actually just makes it look straight all the time. So there you go. There's a cheat for you. <laughs> oh, we we need marching equipment. What do we need for marching? <laughs> items on the bulletin board. Okay, wait. Required items. Uh oh, that's the food menu. I have no idea what any of these are. If anyone can tell me, let me know. I I need to find out what I'm supposed to wear. Uh, marching equipment. Camo suit. Uh, boots and cap. Okay. Let's go. I need my boots. Uh, wear. And I need my cap. Wear that. And I need, uh, camo. Camo. Uh. Uh-oh. Camo pants. Wear. I think I'm in the correct s stuff. Okay, I need... Oh, it's a camo suit, leather belt, cap, and sneakers. What? Uh, okay. I thought it was... I've never heard of that before. Okay. Am I in the right stuff? I... I, I genuinely do not know. <laughs> oh, wait. I have to put underpants on. Do I not have underpants on to begin with? Oh, I don't. <laughs> so, I've just been, uh, free boobing it. Hey, I got it right. Kinda, I think. I don't know. What do I look like? I mean, I think I look like everyone else. Okay, wait. We- Oh, jeez. Oh, God. <laughs> there we go. I have no coordination. This honestly looks harder than it actually is. And that's because, as a recruit, this genuinely is harder <laughs> to do. Although, to be honest, I wasn't expecting to play a rhythm game. But now I think about it, marching is kind of a rhythm game. <laughs> Yeah, that was nerve-wracking. <laughs> There's a leaderboard for this? Why? <laughs> Alright, now we can move. There we go. Oh wait, I have to actually move the... Hang on. Yeah, I'm having to actually manually feed myself. I... Th this is a little bit too much realism, I think. <laughs> I'm supposed to be listening to what these guys are saying, but I can only think of doing that. And I have a feeling this whole thing is timed. At some point, I think you're gonna have to do this quickly. Because there's one thing I do definitely remember about Basic. It's that you get 20 minutes to eat, 20 to 30 minutes to eat. You do actually have to finish all of it in 20 to 30 minutes. And it's a lot of food. Alright, and I think that's the end of the first day. So, overall... Pretty realistic. Uh, everything in here has been actually pretty accurate to what it was in basic, um, more or less. The feeling of being rushed all the time, the feeling of being confused is definitely <laughs> accurate. And I'm learning something about Finland. So all in all, it's been pretty productive. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and of course subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. And uh, yeah, don't forget to check out some of my other videos. And of course, if you want to see more of a Finnish Army Simulator, don't forget to let me know down in the comments. My name is Panzer. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.